Hey, what's up? It's Brianna, and today we're gonna be doing a full face of makeup that I am completely obsessed with. Since my last video, I have changed a lot of things in my routine, and let's just say I've gotten a lot of new favorites, and these items are like the creme de la creme. Of course, we got a prime first, but I mean, I have never been a concealer as eyeshadow primer kind of person until lately. But let me tell you, this Elf Hydrating Camo Concealer as one is amazing. Like it cancels everything and it also makes my eyeshadows really pop. Now, one thing I started doing is taking a dry sponge. I know it's dirty, I don't really care. But I'm just going to lightly tap over my eyeshadow primer or my eyeshadow base. And I've noticed it makes it look a lot smoother and more even and it kind of like gets rid of any excess product in case I apply too much. Now, I am also trying out a new setup, so let me know what you think about it. But for eyeshadow, this is a complete different thing for me, but I started going in with like a taupey color first. This is out of the ColourPop Dad's Taupe palette. And I'm just taking it on this brush from Morphe. It is a vegan V204, and I like to pop this in the crease and literally go wild with it. But I noticed once I started doing this, like my blending has gotten like 10 times better. And it also works with any eyeshadow look. Like it doesn't matter if it's colorful or neutral, like you can do it with anything. Also, when I do this, I do like to use a really big brush because I find that it diffuses everything just a little bit more. You probably guessed that I was gonna use my Beauty Bay palette, but this is the Midnight 42. And I'm going to be going in with this Periwinkle shade. But I mean, just look at that pigmentation. Seriously, this is one of the best palettes I have ever used. Like, if you like blues and purples, you will love this palette. But all I'm doing is I'm packing it onto my lid. And then using whatever is left, I'm just blending it up into that transition shade. Just ever so slightly. Oh, the brush I'm using is from Morphe. It's an M456. It's like a flat pinch blending brush. I'm just going to take a little bit more and pack it onto the outer edge. And then fluff it up into the crease. I'm actually surprised I don't see more people talk about this, but this is the Fractal Eye Paint from About Face Beauty. And they did repackage it, thank God, because like this packaging is horrendous. But this is in the shade Refract. But let me just show you, like this is so beautiful and just beyond underrated. But what I like to do is I like to take just a little bit on the back of my hand, take my finger and lightly like tap into it just to get a little, little bit. And then lightly take it onto the eye. And it just gives like this soft little hint of shimmer and it's kind of like an icy champagne but with like a little bit of a taupe kind of vibe to it but also if you just go straight in with the applicator it's like insanely pigmented but i like that you can kind of sheer it out and play with it i mean like how pretty is that and it also doesn't flake or crumble throughout the day it's a really good formula you know those days where you want like an easier makeup look? That's when I like to sheer this up because I think it really adds a lot. Like it has like that wet kind of like glittery look to it. And then for liquid liner, I'm going to go in with one of my all time favorites. This is the Breaker Proof Liquid Liner from Wet n Wild. Seriously, this is one of the best eyeliners I've ever used. It's waterproof, brush tip, super inky, and it also goes over glitter. Now this mascara, I did not like when I first tried it, but I tried the waterproof. You have to get the regular version though. There is such a huge difference. Like, trust me, like if you don't like the waterproof, the regular is completely different. But this mascara makes my lashes look amazing. Like I have like the most stubby, sparse lashes and it makes them just look pretty, volumized, which is like a little bit of length. And it also actually holds a curl for me pretty well. Like, do you see how pretty this is? And this is actually a dupe for Benefit's Bad Gal Bang, like down to the mascara wand. And then for lashes, I'm gonna use these ones from Kiss in the style Preta Porter. Doja Cat wore these to like an event of some sort and they look so pretty on her. And I saw so many people on TikTok talking about them. I had to try them. And they're like fluttery, they look very natural and they kind of have like that mink effect to them. This is what the box looks like. They're the Lash Couture Masterpiece One of the Kind Lux Lash. And I mean, they are just absolutely stunning and they also last a long time. Like this is probably like my tw 25th time wearing them. And I mean, they're still holding up really well. And what I like about this lash though too is that you can wear it with any kind of look, you know, whether that's glam or natural, it goes with everything. Now, don't you come for my five head, but for foundation, I'm gonna be using this one from L'Oreal. 
It is the True Match Super Blendable Foundation and I wear shade N0.5. Now with this foundation, it is like the most perfect shade on me. It actually got reformulated, but I mean, just look at that. And why I like it though, is that I don't need a primer with it. I actually like it without a primer a little bit more, but it just, it looks like my skin, but with just a little bit more coverage. I mean, just look at that. It is such a beautiful foundation. I'd say it's like a medium. It's not dewy, it's not matte. It just looks like skin. Now, if you're somebody that struggles blending your foundation, this one literally blends itself in like almost instantly. And if you're like me and you don't like feeling makeup on your face, like this one, you literally can't even tell it's there. Now for contour, I'm just gonna go in with my favorite, which is the NYX Wonder Stick in the shade Fair. And I love this, but I hate the highlight on it. I wish I could just buy the contour itself because it's so nice. And I just, I never use the highlight on it because it's one of those shades that's like kind of gold and I just don't like gold highlighter on me. Also got to get the neck and just to get that chiseled jawline. I love the shade of this contour because it's not too cool where it's like super gray and almost has like a green tinge to it, nor is it like bronzy and like Oompa Loompa-y. It's like a perfect neutral. And it also just blends in very easily. And then for the under eye, I'm just gonna go back in with that e.l.f. concealer and just do a tiny bit. This is one of those concealers, since it launched, I just, I haven't been able to find something I like as much as it. Like, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of good concealers out there, but for the price, the shade, and just how it works, I just, I, I have to use this one. Now, if you have dry under eyes and you're looking for a bomb concealer, this one is where it's at. So for blush, I'm gonna use this one from Morphe. It is the Blush Balm in the shade Notoriously Neutral. And it's kind of like a mauve kind of shade with just like a little bit more of like a neutral kind of look to it. But I personally like to pop this on with my fingers first. You see what I mean? Like it's kind of neutral, but it also has like a little hint of color to it. But I like to kind of like pop it on with my finger because I just feel like I get a little bit more pigmentation this way. I could also kind of control how much I want because otherwise I'm somebody like I'll apply way too much blush because I just, I love blush so much. And like there is a point in time where there's too much. Like I'm also one of those people, I feel like there's a point in time where there's too much glow, but I just go back with my sponge just a different side and start blending it in. You see what I mean? That is such a pretty color. It's one of those shades too that goes with pretty much any kind of look. And then of course we gotta blend out the nose. I forgot to do that the other day and I went to the store with it and I lurked, I kinda look like a clown low key. You know, I'm gonna play just a little bit more because you know what? I want a little bit more of a blushy moment. So I'm just gonna pop it onto my cheekbones. I know everybody says to do the apple of the cheek but I feel like it makes my face look a little too round. So I like to apply it a little bit higher up. I'm actually surprised I haven't seen more people talk about this formula because it's just, it's such a dream to work with. Now to set everything, I'm gonna be using this powder from e.l.f. It is the Halo Glow Setting Powder, but in the shade Light Pink. And I know on camera, you can't really tell that it has like a light pink tint to it, but it just has like this very, very subtle hint of pink. Like it's definitely not too much. Like it's not gonna look like blush underneath the eye. But I just feel like it makes my under eyes look amazing. Especially when I have like a cream blush on. It just kind of like blends it in. Again, if you've been wanting to try pink powder, but you don't know which one to try first, I would suggest this one. And also like with the Halo Glow powders, they have just a little hint of glow to them. It's not glittery, it's not like sparkly either. It just kind of has like this healthy skin-like glow. You can kind of see it like right here. And I'm just gonna take a little bit more just to help brighten up the under eye. You see the glow right here though? That is all the powder. Now for underneath the eye for the eyeshadow, I do the exact same thing I do in the crease. So I first go in with like that transition shade and I'll apply it and just blend it out fairly far. Cause again, this is what's gonna give us that like kind of like seamless blend kind of vibe. And then using that same brush, I'm just gonna take Periwinkle right on top. We need to take care of the lip situation. Like they're looking a little too crusty, if you know what I mean. So I'm just gonna do my favorite combo right now, which is the Rare Beauty Lip Liner in the shade Worthy. It's kind of like a mauve shade, but also kind of neutral. 
And of course, I mean, I'm gonna overline because I got, I got some small ass lips. Not for lipstick. I'm gonna use this one from Milani. It's in the shade Peony. I know you're probably thinking it's way too bright, but trust me, like just a little bit in the center and blend it in. It just gives like a subtle hint of pink to any like nude lip. Every time I have been doing a pastel eye look, I have been loving a matte white inner corner. Like it just looks so good. But I'm gonna be going in with this palette from ColourPop and going in with this shade. This is the Blow and Smoke palette. Technically mine is Smoke Show because it's a little bit old, but this shade is called Young Love. And you just wanna take kind of like a dense brush. I like these more like rounded type and you just want to pack it super, super heavy in the inner corner. But I mean, it just, it brightens it up and just, it looks so nice. Now what I also like to do is just take whatever's left on my brush and kind of like bring it up into the lid. If you tried any of these products, let me know what you think about them. But honestly, like all of these, I've been having a really hard time putting down. And I know some of you are probably like, girl, but where were you? And you know, the easiest way I can answer <laughs> is I've been having a lot of medical problems. And it's nothing like life threatening or anything. I have had a full born like eczema, like chronic severe eczema rash from like head to toe since probably about August. And it's gone in like waves. I've gone on super strong steroids that really messed me up and made my hair thin out. I now have nerve pain from all the eczema that I had. And it's just, it's been a little bit of an adjustment. I was also trying different diets. I mean, it was just, it was a whole process, but I hope I'm back now. And like, now that it's kind of going away that, you know, it just doesn't take a toll on me. And we can start doing better videos. Now, if you stuck with me till the end of the video, I just want to say I love you so much and you are the best. <laughs> like, seriously, I appreciate you so much. And if you have any ideas of what you would like to see for videos, you know, whether that is tutorials or reviews, just let me know in the comments down below. And I hope you have a great day. And until next time, bye.